been told, I've been schooled on uh, Facebook Live, Instagram Live, to give you guys a little bit more time to get settled in. So I'm just gonna chat it up for about 60 seconds and talk a little bit about the format of our wonderful Monday Many Moments. So um, anyway, the way, this is our fourth edition uh, and today we're going to do The Courageous Heart. And what we ask you to do is just to commit for 10 minutes. We're going to do a, I'm going to always do a little bit of a mini um, lecture, which is about two minutes long, about the things that I'm going to review the previous week. And then I'm going to talk about things to think about this week and being mindful, because this is really about the self-discovery group teaches you to, the vehicles meditation teaches you to be mindful. So we want you to be more aware and build your awareness. So, um, so that'd be that. So just committing to about 10 minutes uh, until about uh, 20 to 10. Um, so, like I said, today is our fourth edition and, um, of Monday Many Moments. Uh, and today we're going to talk about the courageous heart. Last week we talked about the loving heart. We talked about the aspects of love in our life. What are some of the, the aspects of love, like joy, happiness, kindness, uh, levity, um, uh, truth. Those are some of the aspects that we cultivate in the loving heart. And we talked about paying attention to those things and sowing the seeds of love in your life and then acknowledging them, um, being grateful for those things and recognizing them, noticing them, noticing how you're growing the seeds of love. And this week with courage, what I want you to think about throughout your week is um, just doing something that's a little bit scary for you to do, not too far out of your comfort zone, but a little bit scary for you to do. Maybe you say something that you've been wanting to say that you maybe didn't have the courage to say that scares you a little bit, do that. So you're gonna cultivate a sense of, of courage because courage and the definition of courage, the one that I use most frequently is being afraid and doing it anyway. I have to tell you from my own experience in life, the most amazing things that I've done have come um, when I was the most afraid. So um, when I've been the most victorious in my life. So uh, fear is something that we're hardwired to detect immediately. I mean, like in a flash where positivity in our life will go right by us because it takes about six seconds to see positivity. And if you're not paying attention or looking for it, it'll go right by you because there's a, a, another fear response for you to attach yourself to. So what courage allows us to do is let go of our attachments. So, um, or at least recognize where we have them, uh, is where do we grip, where do we hold on in our lives. So I want you to become more mindful of that and work on, you know, just expanding your comfort zone a little bit, applying more courage. When you're afraid, don't shut down. You know, look at why you're afraid and is that, is that realistic and is that where you want to stop? Uh, because I bet most times, you know, you're, you, you have an opportunity to rise up and meet something in yourself that's powerful. And even in the smallest, simplest things. Okay, so um, anyway, let's just, uh, let's get started meditating. So um, we uh, just find a comfortable spot. You probably found that by now since I've been chatting it up. Uh, what, um, so just find your spot and today we're going to sit with our palms down. Palms down is, allows us to sort of ground down into the earth and I bet you can guess the meditation we're going to be doing. 
Okay, so close your eyes or find a spot in front of you to gaze upon. Soften your eyes. And allow your body to relax. And just allow your attention to arrive in this moment. Notice your breath. And notice the length and the quality of your breathing today. Allow your shoulders to release down your back. Soften your jaw. Relax your eyes. Look down and inward to your energetic heart, midway up your sternum. The energy and essence of your heart, it's the fourth chakra, and the fourth chakra says, I relate. Gaze upon that space, taking your full attention there. And allow your awareness to just scan your body. Where do you notice gripping? tension, tightness, and see if you can take your breath to some of those places. Gripping and tension is a product of a fear response. So let's see if we can soften some of those areas. Just imagine a golden ball of light in your pelvis. And notice how that golden ball of light pulsates with each and every breath. allow it to be there just by simply setting your intention. Imagine a ray from that golden ball of light in your pelvis traveling down through your seat, through the floor, into the earth, and all the layers of the earth. traveling at the speed of light, this beautiful golden beam of light reaching the core of the earth. Feel that connection with the core of the earth.
notice how that changes your experience of this moment just by simply grounding down. Notice the beat of your heart. Noticing the rhythm of your heart, the rhythm of your breath, and the vibration of this golden light that's traveling all the way to the core of the earth. And just feel all of those parts of you synchronizing. Aligning. Just feel all the tension and tightness gripping. Feel it softening now. And just allow gravity to do what gravity does best, releasing it down that golden tunnel of light just by simply setting your intention to let go and soften. Let go of all those sticky spots, places where you grip, places where you fear, places where you judge. You don't need to hang on to that now. So when you're feeling tight, tense, resistant, afraid, just simply ground, just by merely setting the intention. Feel your thumbs making contact with your sternum and bow your head in reverence to the God of your heart. Thank yourself for the gift of time and energy that you've given to your practice today. You can return to this meditation. We hope you do. And remember to cultivate courage heart. Namaste. Just a couple of little announcements. Um, we have a workshop today, or uh, not today, this weekend actually, and Kelly Hovland is coming to um, teach us about financial planning. Who doesn't need a little bit of that these days? So she'll be here Saturday at the self-discovery group, um, a classroom, and so you could sign up for that on our website, sdgmeditation.com. You could also watch this on our website. Um, our, all of our Medi moments are on our website, sdgmeditation.com. Love you guys.